What's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here. We're back for episode four of our um, Pokemon Yellow Let's Play. And I've put Pikachu at the front of my party, and now we're going to go dominate some noobs here. So we've got a whole bunch of trainers on Route 3 that we're going to fight. And we'll start with this last right here. So the nice thing about this last is she's got a Pidgey to start, so a nice easy, uh, easy Pokemon for Pikachu to feast on here. So, like I said in the last one, I'm gonna train up my Pikachu and probably my female Nidoran more than my other Pokemon, um, just because I'm going to be, t I'm gonna keep them on my team, and I'm not necessarily gonna keep any of the other Pokemon that I have right now. They're just kind of there for, to, you know, to fill up my team um, just in case I need them at some point. So, very easy fight. A couple of uh, Pokemon that are just very uh, susceptible to electricity. And now we've got another Bug Catcher here. So the annoying thing about the bug catchers, as usual, is that they can have Kakuna and they can have Metapod. So I'll try to speed through those guys whenever I run into a Metapod or a, or a Kakuna that only uses Harden. Now, um, I do kind of test out what is stronger against the bugs, if Quick Attack or Thunderstruck, Thundershock um, are stronger. I think Thundershock does end up being stronger. There's our Pikachu growing to level 14. We've got a Weedle coming up. Now, Weedle is a poison type, so I think I'll change to Nidoran, uh, my female Nidoran, because um, she is immune to poison, I think. Maybe not immune, but at least it's not, it's not effective. You can see that Weedle uses Poison Sting and it only hurts me by two, and it's a critical hit. So we got another critical hit, of course, um, but again, only hurts me by two. You can see no critical hit and it only hurt me by one. So that is nice to have Nidoran for these poison type Pokemon. She shouldn't be poisoned. Got her up to level 11. There's a Caterpie, so why don't we, uh, why don't we change back to Pikachu. And I know this; these won't be the most exciting battles, but I'm going to kind of switch back and forth between Pikachu and Nidoran and get them, try to get them going. So you can see that Thundershock did a lot more damage than just Quick Attack. A very easy battle against that bug catcher. And then this kid's gonna tell me all about his shorts and how much he loves shorts. Weird kid. And we've got Ratata here. So let's paralyze him. And then we'll fight him. Sorry about the delay there. <laughs> All right. We'll just go Thundershock. Almost got him there. He's fully paralyzed. Let's sneak in a quick attack. 
And that finished him off. Ekans. We'll switch to Nidoran again since Ekans. I don't know if he's got Poison Sting or not. But Nidoran seems like a good fight for Ekans. So Ek or um, Ekans just used Leer on us, so <laughs> we used. Uh, oh gosh, he's got Rap. So Rap is the most annoying move ever. So we're going to switch back to Pikachu. And we will paralyze this Ekans and hope that that helps with the whole Rap. I was bringing back down my Pikachu's defense. Let's switch back to Nidoran now that he's paralyzed. I don't know if this is a good strategy. You guys let me know. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing. And now we'll just hope that this Ekin stays paralyzed um, or misses attacks. There we go. Very nice. And he's done. Not bad. All right, I will take on this guy. So we've got another bug catcher here. Starting out with Weedle. Let's try to take him out quickly. And hope he doesn't poison us. There we go. So we've got a Kakuna next. Since Nidoran's lower level, I'll go with Nidoran. And then I'll speed up the fight with this Kakuna. That way you don't have to watch all of that. And then Nidoran learned double kick. I can't remember what double kick is strong against. Or what Pokemon are weak to fighting moves. So if you guys know that and you've made it this far, go ahead and let me know what Pokemon are weak to fighting moves. So that I can be prepared in the future for to actually use that double kick. Now we've got a Metapod. Let's switch back to Nidoran. We'll speed through this Metapod battle. And we beat him. So what I like to do is... This guy's angry at me for not wearing shorts. Um, I'll beat this trainer usually, and then I'll go heal my Pokemon and finish up the route. So a Sparrow. Pretty high level, level 14. Sparrow is not as easy to beat as Pidgey usually is, but definitely not difficult by any means. <laughs> so there you go. Two hits and he's done. Pikachu up to level 15 now, which is great. Um, then he tries to learn double team. I decide not to learn double team. But honestly, the Pokemon expert I am, I don't even remember what double team does. So we defeat the youngster. Let's head back to the... Pokemon Center, get healed up, and then we'll head right back.
All right, we've got a couple more trainers here, and then we'll be at the end of Route 3. So I'm, I'm trying out double kick here, um, not a very effective on this male Nidoran, so we'll go with something else. Looks like his horn attack is pretty decent against my Nidoran. It would be nice if we learned that. And we'll tackle. Wow, she almost beat me with that Nidoran. And we missed our attack. That was a close one. He's got some new Pokemon. Wonder if it's a cat or pee. So we've got another Metapod. I will do you guys a favor and speed through this Metapod battle. And there you go. Um, so I think that girl is the last trainer. Now let's see, we do run into a sparrow here, might try to catch it if Pikachu doesn't kill it, and he did, so we won't, we won't try to catch him. I do think this girl is the last battle on, the, on Route 3. We'll find out in a moment. It's been a while since I've played this game. Jigglypuff. Let's paralyze this Jigglypuff. Try to avoid it uh, sleeping us. <laughs> now we'll Thundershock it. Some reason it didn't affect my Pikachu, which is great. And actually a pretty easy battle against Jigglypuff. Alright, so in the next one, we're gonna end up going through Rock Tunnel, right? And Rock Tunnel. Not nearly as bad as the Flash Tunnel. I can't remember which, what, what the name of that tunnel is. But the uh, the rock places or the tunnels are always the most annoying with encounters. Because just the entire, entire time you can encounter Pokemon. And we'll be it, it's nice to be able to catch a couple of them, but... It's one of the most frustrating. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll probably be doing a lot of speeding up when we go through that one. But until then, I appreciate the watch or the view on this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and give me a like. 
and comment. Let me know what you think of the series. And what you think about me keeping Pikachu and Nidoran as my starters. Or as my team. I'll see you guys in the next one.